What's happening, my fellow geeks and geekettes? Welcome to a brand new, very different, very special episode of Cosplay Chris. And today, I'm gonna do a vlog of me training in the gym, because some of you guys have requested it. You guys have been asking about what my workout routine is, and to be honest, I don't have a set routine. I'm constantly changing things around. But I thought I'd just give you an example of what I'm training tonight. So tonight, we're gonna to be training chest and biceps. Now, traditionally, people train triceps with their chest and then biceps with their back. But to me, I like to separate the both because by the end of it, by the time it rolls around to train your triceps after chest, you're fatigued, and you don't want to train your triceps. They end up cocking out a lot more earlier than usual. So I leave them for a separate day, usually the following day. Now before any of that, I usually do a warm up on the treadmill or the elliptical, whether it be five or 10 minutes. And our first exercise, which is the granddaddy of all chest exercises, the bench press. Before we start busting out reps on this guy, we're gonna be doing 20 push-ups just to get some fresh blood and oxygen into the muscles themselves. Now guys, please keep in mind, I am not a personal trainer. This is just what works for me. Like I said, you guys have requested it and asked to see what my training regime is like. So I'm gonna show you. Now usually with the bench press, what I do is pyramiding, which for example, I'm gonna start off on 60 kilos, up to 70, 80, and then do a reverse pyramid where we go 80, 70, 60 until complete failure. Now remember, whenever you're doing bench press, always make sure your shoulder blades are pinched together and your butt is tight. Now you can either have your legs in the outward position or you can curl them like that. Usually when you curl them like that, that's for more of a power lifting move and I probably will be doing that when I hit up to 80 kilos. Now also keep in mind, when you do go to bring the weight down, take a nice deep breath so that your sternum and your midsection is completely rigid and that's gonna help push that weight back up. Okay, so like I said, I've gone 60 kilos, 70 kilos, 80 kilos, and now we're gonna reverse it and go 80, 70, 60, and we're done for bench press. Alrighty, up next we have inclined dumbbell press. Now I know what you're thinking, that this bench isn't really on that much of an incline. Well the reason being is I can't have it up any much further because of my niggling shoulder injury. As soon as I go that extra bit further, my shoulder starts to hurt. But go figure, I can actually do upright shoulder press with ease. So this is the angle I can comfortably do dumbbell chest press with. Now same principle like with the bench press, make sure your shoulder blades are pinched together and don't drop the weight, control the weight. Keep that muscle constantly under tension. It's gonna fatigue the muscle a lot more quicker and a lot more fiber recruiting within the muscle. So I've already done a warm up with 20 kilo dumbbells for sets. I'm gonna do four sets, we're gonna use 30 kilo dumbbells Probably gonna get about six to 10 reps out of these or just until complete failure with each set.
<laughs> okay, so the fourth and final exercise for chest this evening before moving on to biceps is the cable crossover. Now, usually when people do cable crossovers, they come and attack it from this angle, straight in front. Because we've already done the upper section of our chest with those landmine presses, what I'm doing is I'm actually going to be curling the cables down so it's going to be working the lower section of my chest. So we hit all three heads of the chest with bench press, we've got pretty much the entire chest area, and now I've got the cable crossovers to finish out and even out the chest. Now this is something I usually have to go very light on because of my shoulder injury. I've got 10 kilos on each side. Now because I've got a lower weight, what I'm going to be doing is really slowing down my movement and controlling that weight. So the muscle is constantly under tension and is going to fatigue it severely. Okay, so just like the landmine presses, I'm gonna be doing three sets of 15. Now, I also wanna mention what I have during training. This is branched chain amino acids and creatine. And essentially what BCAAs do is it stops muscle breakdown during training, it helps with your endurance. It also helps with recovery. So you just don't have to drink this whilst training. You can have it throughout the day, pre-training, post-training. If you're running around all day at work, you can have this. It'll help with your recovery, it'll help with your endurance. One more, we're really gonna slowly contract, hold it, squeeze your chest, and slowly let it back. And just for the fun of it, because I'm feeling a little bit risky, push-ups until failure. It's now time to move on to biceps, and just like bench press being the granddaddy of chest exercises, we're going to be moving on to the granddaddy of bicep exercises, and that is the classic barbell curl. Unfortunately, this exercise is overlooked by a lot of people starting out with weight training, bodybuilding. To me, it's just like bench press. It's all you need, whether you mix it up with high reps, low reps, intervals, you name it. This is the one that will put on overall mass on those biceps. So what you wanna remember is always keep your upper arms as still as possible. Some movement is allowed, but you don't wanna cheat it up like that, because that is just counterproductive. Now when you bring that bar up, squeeze your biceps, just like you squeeze your pecs together when you're doing the incline dumbbell press. Okay, now that we're nice and warmed up with this bar, I'm gonna pop on five kilos on each side. That's gonna bring it up to 30 kilos. We're gonna be doing four sets, no real standard set amount of reps, just usually till failure.
bicep exercise and last exercise for our workout this evening is the seated inclined dumbbell curl. Now I've got nine kilo dumbbells for this because I'm aiming for a very high rep range to completely exhaust and fatigue my biceps. Now I said before with hammer curls, I like to alternate when I do them, but in this case, I'm gonna be doing them both at the same time. So what you wanna do is grab your weights, sit back nice and comfortably, feet planted on the floor, palms facing outwards, curl up. And what you wanna do just like barbell curls, is squeeze your biceps, Bring it down, don't bring it down all the way so it stretches out like so. You wanna keep the muscle under tension. So ideally, you wanna bring the weights down to about there. Take a deep breath as you curl down. So I managed to get 12 out of that, which is pretty good considering the amount of strain they've been under with the past two exercises. And I'm really starting to feel it now. So we're gonna finish off with two more sets to a complete failure and we're done. Now I also forgot to mention, I usually take about 30 seconds rest between each set. You don't wanna go anything over a minute and a half. Definitely don't wanna go over two minutes. You wanna keep your endurance up because having a 30 second interval between sets not only helps with fat burning, but also keeps your metabolism going much long after you've finished training. So thanks very much for watching guys. I'm absolutely bugging now after that. Now, what I want to mention in terms of my post-workout supplements, because it's nighttime, I'm going to have a uh, casein protein shake, which is a slow digesting protein, which helps uh, with recovery whilst you're sleeping, because that's when your body recovers and that's when you grow is during your sleep. And then when I get home, I'm just going to have some natural peanut butter as a treat and then off to bed. So guys, if you did like this gym log, please give a thumbs up and leave a comment down below if you'd like to see more in terms of doing shoulders, back, legs, you name it. If not, let me know. This is something I want to try try out for you guys because some of you had mentioned it that you want to see my routine even though I don't really have one it's kind of all mixed up but that's a good thing that's what you want to do you want to keep your body guessing and constantly shocking it hope you guys are well hope you guys are happy be merry be silly and until next time geeks please always remember severely puffed out entire cosplayers do it best